Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, Ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hello, I'm Jonathan O'Toole. I'm here with my friends uh, Benedicto Niwamanya and Brother Charles Spingola of California, the United States of, of America. Like myself, we're here in Uganda, uh, near Gamba, near Kampala, Uganda. And we've all recently had a chance to review and screen Retaliation Film. The film we made over a year ago here in Uganda with the help of many, many, many talented uh, people, actors and actresses, a talented screenwriter, uh, Esther Nampewo. So I want to introduce these gentlemen. They are uh, leaders and members of the team here in Africa, which is to be presenting retaliation film to the people of Africa, an indigenous film, a local film, but with uh, geopolitical and global implications about the attempt to impose satanic lawlessness on Africans and on the whole world, on the whole world. So let's talk with um, Brother Benedict and Brother Chuck today. So, Brother Charles Spingola, I think I learned those uh, words that Benedict uh, reiterated fr from you originally, that way, not the concept maybe, but the way of uh, those words, the preborn deserve the, the same, same defense, defense as the born. born. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you've, you've had an opportunity to see Retaliation Film, to screen um, the final edit. We have a few, a few things to fix yet. Um, what's your impression so far? About well, I gave uh, my endorsement uh, of, of the retaliation. Uh, it was far more profound than I had anticipated. It uh, is very thought-provoking. It's um, me as a as a as a soldier in the army of God. It very profound. It has me thinking, uh, searching, searching my own soul for the emphasis. My emphasis as I've grown uh, in the love of Christ. What is my emphasis? And uh, the movie Retaliation has everything in it. Um, and I, I like the social aspect. Um, and, uh, it would be, in a, in a word, I would say it's a bit profound. It's thought profound. Provoking. It's profound. Thought provoking. Yes. And thought provoking. Yeah. Uh, tell me, um, if you would, about your hat and what does it mean to you? You said you're a soldier in the army of God. What does it mean to be a soldier in the army of God? Well, uh, John, as you know, Nowadays, it's very uh, easy to be um, in print, the soldier in the army of God. Twenty years ago, when the soldiers were walking the earth, men like Paul Hill, who uh, I memorialize in this hat, um, it, was, it, it was very costly to, to uh, say that you are a soldier in the army of God. Uh, it was elusive. It was, you know, can you put your hands on a soldier of the army of God? Because if you could, you'd uh, put a crime on uh, blowing up some killing center or, or, or uh, killing a baby murderer. Today, I am saying openly, I am a army of God soldier. Uh, Roe v. Wade, is, they say, is turned over. So, um, it's, it's not as costly as it once was. Um, but yes, uh, I, I, that's why it's, I will confess it, yes. and I will let the other members of the Army of God, yes. uh, true members, um, take a breath uh, for this time that we're in, supposedly, the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Yes. Uh, we know it's a ruse. Um, the, the, the spirit of, of baby murder is alive and well. The spirit of killing the innocent, of shedding innocent blood is alive and well. We're not going to be confused about it. Right. But, um, yes, I am proud to be a soldier. And your hat is commemorating commemorating the martyrdom of Reverend Paul J. Hill, martyred 
September 3rd, uh, 2003, rest in peace, Matthew 23, 29 through 39. Remind me. So here I am with Brother Benedicto Niwamanya, uh, and a very important member of our team from Uganda, and the founder of Heart Talk Foundation. Is that correct? Yes. Heart Talk Limited. Heart Talk Uganda Limited. Heart Talk Uganda Limited. And Benedicto is a team leader, so we're here to talk with you and, and, and tell us what's on your heart about retaliation today. Uh, thank you very much, my brother. I'm Benedict, uh, Director, SEMA Organization Limited and Heart Talk Uganda uh, Limited. We are happy here in Uganda that at Arn we have with us the film that we have been waiting for, that we have worked on for close to a year and so. And uh, this is the film that is rather a statement of the fact that the young uh, child, the preborn life, deserves the defense. And that the fact that even if we are in whichever condition, we all can do something to defend the life of another person. We can do something to fight for life. I, I want to interrupt you. Uh, Right now, I'd like to interrupt you and, and ask you again to reiterate what you said. You said the pre-born deserves to be defended. Yes. The same as the born. Uh, the same as you and me, though we have our rights to life, uh, the young and born child deserves the same protection, the same defense, the same, uh, the, the same rights, because he gets also his life or her life from the same creation. So when, so when violence is being perpetrated against the, the little baby in the womb, he deserves to be physically defended. He deserves to be physically defended. Thank you. So we are happy and glad that all these views we have, be, have been put into a film, a retaliation, that is here at hand, that we are setting off to promote that we are starting a promotion phase. So our Kenyan team led by Brother Kingori, we are glad to inform you that we are coming and uh, within the coming weeks, the activities of the promotion of this film are going to be to another level. All right. So we are glad once again. And we know that you have been preparing, planning and uh, arranging for this time yeah. that uh, the movie will be ready so we are what we can say today is to be happy and to tell you that watch for the coming of this retaliation film which is going to be with you soon and uh, as it is for the leadership and the organization of all things we know that it takes time so we encourage you that Let's put it, put up the uh, the preparation to another level, yes. and we make this film dissemination yes. and the promotion a success. Thank you. I'm encouraged. So the Ugandan team, we are also here planning and preparing. But as we had agreed, we shall start with the Kenyan side. All right. And uh, after there, we shall be, we hope to receive some of you also in the the Ugandan side to help us in doing the same noble cause that we have received from our God. Wonderful. Let us defend the young. Let us defend everybody for every life matter. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. So I'm Jonathan William O'Toole. For me, this, uh, this day when we're finally getting to see uh, almost the final edit uh, and preview of Retaliation Film, this is the culmination of, of years of a vision and effort and people came alongside me the way the Holy Spirit you know comes alongside people and helped in ways that I couldn't have um, predicted or anticipated talented people I can't even name them all now but uh, uh, Roy and uh, Esther Nampiwo, um so many talented actors actresses that they and the level of experience that they brought to the table so that this film could become what it is, which is beyond what I visualized when I when I first conceived the grain of this of this film, Retaliation. It, it's grown into something slightly different, but 
better than what I had conceived. So the Lord has even led me to people who improved, in my opinion, on the idea. But what was in my heart and what has come through to the final product of this film is to give people a realistic, a gritty, um, a not too preachy, but just a, a story that would illustrate the way that seduction works to turn a mother in a crisis pregnancy into a killer. And to, to put that out there in a way that's compelling, in a way that engages people, makes them interested in the story, and makes them also see the reality of that example and how seduction leads to death and how corruption in the African context, moving from the individual to the continent of Africa and to the nations of Africa, like Uganda, where we are now, like Kenya, seduction can be not only on the individual level, but on the continent-wide, on the cultural level, on the continental level, to the degree in which there is such a thing as African values that even Muslims and Christians hold in common, the love of family, the love of children, the protection of the innocent. So that men of goodwill of different religions, different faiths, can agree together that Africa, Africa is under attack. When families are under attack, when the authority of fathers is under attack, when the authority of brothers is under attack, and the whole nation is faced with a seduction. And so the message of this film is to illustrate in the individual example of this story that seduction, how it works, the characteristics it has, and what happens when men of goodwill, even if they are poor in a context of hardworking African poverty relative to the affluence of the West, God can still honor when the community comes together and the family comes together to defend their values, to defend the truth and the law of God and do justice. God can work powerfully through them if, if they don't despise themselves. Like the young man who gave the Lord Jesus Christ in the Gospels his fish and loaves. And people said, but what are these among so many? So the efforts of individual Africans, Ugandans, Kenyans, Cameroonians, Nigerians, Gambians, even in a state of poverty where I, I might, one might say to himself, what can I do against someone like Bill Gates or Planned Parenthood or Mari Stopes? They have billions and I have nothing. So this film in illustrates, yes, go ahead, uh, Brother Benedicto. Tell Benedicto. me about uh, the retaliation. Why the name retaliation in relation to these big NG wars? The reason for the name retaliation is because there's a law, what some people call the law of the jungle, lex talionis in Latin. Lex meaning law, talionis, the law of retaliation. When every other means of justice is overthrown, when, when, when police are corrupted, when governments have been bought off, and I'm not talking about the government here, where I'm sitting, okay, I'm not, I'm not specifically talking about that, but when those situations occur, when people come with leverage that you can't, you can't get justice, not because your cause is not good, not because you don't have evidence, but because it, justice is overthrown. The bottom line, what God has put into reality, and we see it in the book of Genesis, where God gives a law, whoever sheds the blood of human beings, of man, by man shall his blood be shed. That's the first, after, after the law, if I'm not mistaken, after the law you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. After that law, that's the first law given in the Bible to mankind before any other law. And so it, it, it's higher than any religion. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. That is where the name comes from. Brothers, fathers, husbands, next of kin have a basic human right. When justice is miscarried and their innocent loved one has been attacked and justice has been aborted, they have the right and the duty to avenge, to defend first, and also to avenge and establish the law, not because we're preaching vengeance, but because someone must I was establish the law. about to ask you that. Yeah. Is that a call for violence? It's not a call for violence, but it's a call for the least amount of necessary force to establish the law. There's a distinction. 
Violence is a call for the law of the jungle. We don't want the law of the jungle. We don't want the law of retaliation. But it's an illustration. Now mark this, this is very important. I'm glad you asked that question. A very important clarification. We are not calling for retaliation. We are demonstrating that when justice is miscarried, not, there's always miscarriages of justice. No system of justice is perfect. But because of corruption and the effects of bingos like Murray Stopes, bringing in the leverage that, that people can't compete with, you can reach a point where they have, they are the ones who have brought, have set in motion the retaliation. We are illustrating it through film, artistically, so that we can avoid that retaliation scenario. We can restore justice so that people will not be tempted, as the brother was in this film, to take the law into their own hands. So, in other words, we are saying, is it a way of saying that retaliation is an artistic expression of what could happen exactly. if the, there is no change, if the people are pushed to the, to the wall? It, very well said. Saying? If we allow these big, big international NGOs that are satanic to continue to overthrow and subvert justice and abort justice in the individual instances, it must beget retaliation. And, and this is our attempt to show men and women that they must intervene to establish God's law before that happens. We want to avoid the death and the pain that is depicted in this film. So, so if I may yes. draw a conclusion from your wonderful presentation. You may. It is to say retaliation is our own creation of an, a way which we would think that if the things don't change, yes. the society would be led to. If we do not repent and, and restore justice decently and in order, the society will descend into the law of retaliation. And there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a certain elegance and beauty in the law of the jungle, but it's also a lot of death, a lot of confusion. God doesn't want that. We don't want that. And that's why we made this film, to, to, to call people to, to sidestep the seduction and enforce the law and justice. So briefly, yes. what can you conclude with in, in relation to the teams that are running behind the retaliation both in Kenya and Uganda? What would be your say to these wonderful men and women waiting to disseminate and move this movie, this Thank film, you. to the people? Thank you. To the team members, our work is... I, you know, the young people already have consciences. They know right and wrong. God has written it on their hearts, okay? God has written it on their hearts. Our work is to help them visualize themselves, the young men, the young women, as the defenders of the innocents and the ones who establish justice. So our work is to really to show the film, to step back and get out of the way and let, and let the artwork do its work and be there to counsel, be there to guide, and be there to facilitate this um, revival that will reestablish justice and the law through these young people and to form an army, not in the sense of any organization that is threatening to the government, but in the sense of, I'm a soldier in the army of God. God has an army, like we sing in church, not afraid to fight. A spiritual army of abolitionists that say, we're not going to tolerate legalized abortion. We're not going to let the West impose sodomy on us. So the goal of the team is to, is to guide the young people to see, to visualize themselves as soldiers, to establish justice and defend African cultural values, the family and the innocent. You speak like a Pan-African, you speak like a pro rifer hey. and definitely you I speak am. like Jonathan Otto. I, I am a Pan-Africanist. <laughs> I am. I'm glad yeah. to have talked with you. Likewise. And uh, to the team, hey. you have heard from the host's mouth, let us wait to send this message. All right. Thank you very much.